Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. And this video today is going to be about another one of the inventions you get from the Gnomish Gearworks. This time it's a level 2 Gnomish Gearworks you'll need. number of inventions spawn randomly here every day, and one of them is the GG117 Micro Jetpack. You can see it here. Just pick it up, and that will give you three charges, which will last each for ten minutes. And you can see exactly what it does there. And you'll notice I'm in the stone core. Uh, this is one of a few items from the Gnomish Gearworks which can be used in dungeons. And the advantage should be immediately obvious from doing that. I'm moving at least twice as fast as I can normally on my gnomish, no, I know mage here. Basically moving even faster than a rogue. And, you know, if you're farming a dungeon, then basically you just want to get through it as fast as possible. Witness if you're farming, oh, you're looking for a mount. In this case, I'm after the Reigns of the Vitreous Stone Drake. And it varies exactly how long you'll take to get through a dungeon, but in my case, I'm doing this is about twice as fast as I normally can. It's going to vary on your class and spec, what type of um, movement abilities you have normally. But it's basically going to be a significant in uh, movement increase. Spinning. And it's enormous fun. I do like jumping around. It's much than just running. Now, there's a lot of applications for this other than just running dungeons, uh, as useful as they can be there. And uh, the obvious thing is when you're farming in world, it's less useful because obviously you can fly in most places in world or, or travel around on a map. But. Um, it's still going to be useful in the sense that when you're farming uh, specific mobs, you often need to, to move on foot without, and it's, it's not particularly good use of your time to remount. This obviously helps with that. I found that with farming random mobs in worlds, the increases between 10 and 20%, again, 10 and 20% in speed, again, depending very much on your class and spec and what movement abilities you have. Now, there are other applications again, uh, people found this very useful to use in world PvP. It does really get you about fast, and uh, if you're a range class, you can kite an LA class almost indefinitely. Now, the most game breaking application of the jetpack is to farm Not Karosh. Uh, that's, the, that's the wolf in the uh, Horde starting area in Trainor. And uh, it's a level 100 wolf of. 12 million hit points, I think, and it, the wolf can be kited using the jetpack. The jetpack is so fast you can stay out of the wolf's range. It's very fast, but you can actually do it. Um, I'm not quite uh, the soloist, at least without not sig significantly more practiced. I'm not quite the soloist uh, to take down Nokorosh on a repeated basis, but it is clearly theoretically possible. There's a uh, the technical difficulty is maintaining range from Nokrosh and at the same time uh, avoiding resetting him altogether. However, if you can pull that difficult trick off, then you have an amazing gold farm, probably anything up to 10,000 gold an hour. It's well worth trying, uh, particularly if you've got an interest in time for it. Okay, so there's the hack. Hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, this has been Arch Velda. Take care.